working at Fire Eaters Grill today, and um, we've heard some great things. We use the mobile order app, um, and this place has uh, gyros, falafel, chicken tenders, um, so it's got a smaller menu, but it's supposed to be really, really good. If you go through the mobile order app, you'll notice that each of those three things comes in either a combo or a platter. And with the platter, you get your entree and then either fries or hummus on the side. And then with the combo, you get an additional side with that. And um, it can either be pita chips and tzatziki or edible cookie dough. Um, so today I got just the platter with the gyro and some fries. And then I also got their, um, what do they call them? Honey, Greek honey something. It's basically uh, fried dough with honey on it. Yep. Yeah, and it and looks some nuts. Very it's, delicious. My actually. guess is it's designed to taste like baklava, only in like almost donut hole form. Yeah, that's what they kind of look like. Um, and then Matt got the gyro also, only he got the combo. Mm -hmm. He got hummus with his instead of fries. So he was hummus and veggies, and then the tzatziki and pita chips, mm -hmm. um, of which I will be stealing his tzatziki beef because he doesn't like it and I could eat it all day long. We'll be sharing. Um, I'm also gonna share my dessert with him, so um, we will let you know what we think. Absolutely. All right, guys, so um, again, Fire Eaters Grill, I did, I had the, uh, the full combo, right? So my combo came with the uh, pita itself, um, or the, excuse me, the gyro itself. Um, it came with a side of uh, pita and tzatziki sauce, which I traded to Callie because she loves tzatziki sauce. Um, I did have the pita chips, so I'll talk about those in a minute. And then I also had a side of hummus um, with some celery and some carrots as well. So let's talk first about the gyro. So the gyro, the, uh, the uh, pita bread around it was very thick. Um, it was uh, well cooked, uh, you know, not doughy at all on the inside. Um, stood up really well to the weight of that gyro, which was fairly substantial. It was a, um, it was definitely a hearty gyro. Lots of meat on there. Um, I'm gonna guess that that was a combination of lamb and beef. Um, and uh, also inside of the gyro, important to know, um, we think it was mayonnaise, not tzatziki sauce. It didn't have the flavor of tzatziki sauce. They put mayonnaise in there, um, along with shredded lettuce, um, purple onions, and then also some red tomatoes in there as well. And so uh, all that filled it out very well. I thought it was great. Um, it, was a, it was really a, a hearty meal. Uh, definitely, I was already pretty stuffed by the time I had finished putting down that gyro. But for you guys, um, I ate the, um, the pita chips as well. Um, now that was basically the exact same pita bread you know, they used for the gyros. Um, and then it was lightly fried on the outside, so it had kind of a crunchy crust and then soft on the inside. Um, it was kind of inconsistently fried, so some of the pieces were a little bit more like just eating, um, you know, a piece of pita bread, and some of them were a little bit more crunchy. So those were kind of inconsistent. Um, I did dip those in my hummus along with my vegetables. The hummus is fairly bland, um, just a nice, you know, basic, straightforward hummus. Um, it did have some seasoning on top of it. It gave it a little bit of a kick. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, solid but, but unspectacular. Um, and then Callie um, actually was nice enough to give me uh, one of her honey Greek treats. Um, and it was also very good. It, it was sort of similar to the pita chips in that fried on the outside, uh, very lightweight uh, on the inside, not, as, not quite as doughy. Um, she'll talk to you a minute about that, but almost had the consistency of a beignet. Um, and it has some walnuts and some honey drizzled on the, on the top of it as well. So um, all in all, a uh, very good experience here. Um, it is theme park food, guys, but it, it's, it's good quality theme park food. You're not gonna leave here disappointed in what you got. It's not like going and ordering a generic hamburger. Um, and you will feel, feel filled up, I think, at the end of your meal. All right, so Matt did a pretty great review of the Euro already. And I took the tzatziki sauce that he gave me and put it on my gyro. Um, and that, I mean, it was a solid gyro. Um, that I'm a big fan of Greek food and gyros in particular. And so having those red onions in there, you know, kind of gave it that authentic taste. Um, the shredded lettuce may not always be a traditional gyro along with the mayonnaise, but when I put the tzatziki sauce on there, um, I couldn't really taste the mayonnaise. All I could taste was the tzatziki sauce. Um, and so it, it had a very good, solid gyro, um, you know, 
like Matt said, it might it, it might be theme park food, but it's it's good theme park food. Um, so all in all, big fan of that gyro. Um, and I would highly recommend putting the tzatziki sauce on there if you like tzatziki sauce. You know, don't put it on there. Um, I ordered, like I said before, I ordered just the platter, and so it came with the gyro, some French fries, but only. Um, and so in doing that, um, it allowed me for about a dollar more to get those um, Greek honey puffs on the side instead of either the um, the edible cookie dough or the hummus. And the fries, I will say, that came with my gyro um, were underwhelming. A lot of them were really soft. Um, you know, I ate my gyro first, and so they might have been hot when they first came to the table, but by the time I got to them, they really weren't. Um, not a lot of salt on them, so I would definitely add some salt. Um, not bad, but, you know, about what you would expect at a theme park for French fries. Um, the, the honey puffs, I wanted to show you guys real quick. So, they look like a donut hole or a beignet, and I, they're much closer to a beignet in their consistency. Okay guys, so all in all, I think we had a good experience here. Yeah. You know, it's not its not gonna blow your socks off, but you're gonna probably be very satisfied and feel like you got your money's worth here. Yeah, um, you'll be full by the end of this meal. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think it has something here that can be pleasing for everybody. You know, we ordered the more uh, more ethnic food that they had here, um, just keeping in theme. This is in Lost Continent in uh, Islands of Adventure. So keeping with the theme of, of the area, um, you know, we try to, to go that direction, but they do have have chicken tenders, they have hot dogs, um, they have some yeah. chicken stingers uh, yeah. as well, and so, uh, so it's lots of uh, good opportunities for you um, on this menu, and, and probably something that your whole family would find satisfying. They also have falafels, and um, if you've got vegetarians in your group, and so no, that's an option. They also have some pita like the gyro, um, only instead of the gyro meat, it has um, a falafel. It has actually two falafel patties in there. Probably could have shared what we got, yeah. and it would have been enough for the three of us. Um, yeah. Cause it was it was an awful lot of food, um, so that's yeah. great. Anytime you can eat for 50, 10 to fifteen dollars a person and uh, have a, a pretty quality meal, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I was going to mention too is you know because we did mobile order, um, we didn't have as much flexibility as um, we could have probably if we had ordered on the at the line as far as what they put on our euros. Um, so, you know, for example, if you don't want mayonnaise or if you don't want that shredded lettuce, like what Callie was talking about on there, yeah. you know, probably best just to order at the window. window. Um, and this location offers both choices. You can order at the window and you can mobile order. And the line for ordering 
the window wasn't super long when we got here. Um, and so I think it probably would have been just as fast to do that. We just mobile ordered. We were at a different part of the park and walked over. Similar to Disney, they do notify you, you know, when your order is ready. You click in when you uh, when you actually arrive to the restaurant. That way they can assemble things in the top for you. And then they notify you on your mobile phone when it's ready to go. Um, and, uh, and you can bring it on hot that way. Um, but yeah, that might be a good tip. Uh, Disney uh, does allow you to go in and, and customize quite a bit more of uh, your individual items than what they do uh, here at Universal at this point. So uh, they're still catching up a little bit here at Universal on that end with the mobile order. I did not, no. Okay. Um, another thing is you may hear in the background, um, where, where Fire Eaters is located is right by one of the gates where the characters from Madagascar come out. Um, and they've got a big old party going on over there. Um, I've seen a couple penguins. I've seen the hippo. And currently King Lemur is over there doing a dance party. So that's what you're King, hearing in the background. King Julian. King Julian. I'm sorry. King Julian the lemur. That is my fault. Yeah. Um, is over there having a dance party. So um, it can be a really entertaining place to sit and um, kind of kick your feet up while still getting some of that theme park atmosphere and eating some really good food. Hi, my name is Matt Turner with Pixie Vacations, and I'm here to help you plan the vacation of your dreams. As a fee free travel agent, I'm here to help make sure that you get the best possible price, quality of service, and experience out of your hard-earned vacation dollar. My expertise will help me personalize every aspect of the vacation experience for you and your travel party. I specialize in vacations to Walt Disney World, the Disneyland Resort, the Disney Alani Resort in Hawaii, the Disney Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney, the Universal Orlando Resort, and Royal Caribbean Cruises. I take the hassle out of planning your vacation so you can enjoy the fun parts. Contact me today at Matt Turner at PixieVacations.com or 512-766-8414. I look forward to getting to know you and helping you maximize every bit of your vacation experience.